Hey guys, welcome to Netlink Daily, Steam Dev Days Edition. The Steam Dev Days conference wraps up today, and there have already been some interesting announcements so far. For starters, every developer in attendance received a Steam machine and controller in the greatest swag bag ever. And Valve announced that the Steam controller itself will no longer have a touchscreen. The original design called for a central touchpad with four clickable buttons underneath, but it looks like they're scrapping it in favor of two clusters of four buttons that looks more like a traditional Xbox or PlayStation controller. Valve said the new design will better support traditional control schemes for legacy games. Valve also demoed their VR headset prototype. Participants stood in a room and were able to physically walk around in the demo. Some first-hand accounts claimed it had a better resolution and field of view than the Oculus Crystal Cove demo that was shown at CES, but Obviously, we'll have to wait and see whether that's the case. Valve and Oculus have said numerous times they are working together on VR solutions, so it's likely this isn't a competitor so much as just an impressive tech demo. Valve also spoke on the next version of their Source engine, saying Source 2 would be optimized for Linux and OpenGL. And they're looking at scrapping Steam Greenlight, the feature that allows users to vote on which indie games will be accepted to Steam. Valve says this is because they are evolving. There's still more news to come from the conference, so check out the links in the description for all we know so far. Alright, that's it for Netling Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech news, reviews, and tutorials. And remember, rollerblades are still cool if you've got the right attitude.